The Olympics are ending in two days and uh, there isn't so much that Nigeria can do uh, about Tokyo 2020 right now. But there is so much we can do about the next games and of course the next and the next and the next. Our final conversation this morning is how to plan for future Olympic games and get our sports right. We have athletics coach and uh, statistical analyst uh, and of course uh, founder uh, of uh, Nigerian Athletics Media, Fumilayo Famiso, uh, joining us this morning. And also we have the uh, PRO Nigerian Olympic Committee, Femi Adetula, uh, also with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Yeah, good, good morning. Uh, let me say good evening for where I am. <laughs> good, good morning. It's a... Uh, as a, uh, you know, uh, well, large gathering this morning. Well, Mr. Shereton, once again, good morning and uh, thanks for staying with us. Oh, well, we're, we're still struggling. But anyway, I'm going to start with um, Mr. Adetula. Um, we have another four years to prepare for, for, you know, the next Olympics. We have enough time, you know, arguably, uh, to get it right the next, you know, with the next Olympics. How do you think, or what do you think we'd, we must start doing from today in order to ensure that we are better prepared for the next Olympics? Thank you very much. Uh, what I think we should do as from today uh, is to first of all uh, beg the government uh, to have uh, a minister uh, that will be in office from now to the next Olympics so that there won't be change of guard. That is number one. Then number two, uh, we have to look at support that we need to have a policy that will be good for everybody. A policy that will be encompassing that. Mr. Adetula. Okay. Um, we seem to have lost Mr. Adetula there, but Mr. Sheraton, are you there? Can you hear you? Okay. All right, so um, Mr. Adetula was just talking about the importance of continuity in the sports ministry, saying that, you, you know, when you have people, you know, change, come in, come out, there wouldn't be continuity of the processes that have been started. Um, can you continue on the back of that if, if you agree with that um, train of thought? Definitely, I think, exactly where we're getting, when we depend on ministers to dictate, to ministers are politicians, so we should the fact that a minister should be dictating this part. I think NOC big job to do. NOC should be an Olympic committee. The president should be doing whatever a minister to change ministers, the NOC to continue. The NOC should be able to have their full movement all the time. Like he has said meant to, to retain a minister is loading it over them. Understand this minister and I think it too. So they want to retain this particular talking about minister when we should be talking having autonomy operation operating, sourcing for funds or depending on government. So we are still talking that will only make do with what he had that government released to to the uh, to Okay, Mr. So Shoyeta. What are we still talking about? All right, all right, Mr. Shoyeta. Um, we have Mr. Mr. Adetula back on the line. Mr. Adetula, um, welcome back. Thank you. All right. So, yes, you, you were making a point there, you know, but uh, something else we need to mention that Mr. Shuita also talked about really is about the quality of the people in power. You know, the quality of the people there. Um, earlier before we um, went on that break, Mr. Oguma was talking about the fact that it's important to have former athletes, people who have been on the field, who know where the shoe pinches um, to be at the head of these bodies, not just people who are political appointments. Also, the issue of the um, you know, this um, political interference with um, the Sports Ministry and the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. Should it be that or should we be talking more about synergy? Um, how do you help us, you know, unravel all these issues? Uh, the, the issue is, when, when, you want to, when you want to talk about anything in Nigeria, you can't, you can't take away uh, government interference from anything you have in Nigeria. Nigeria is just Nigeria. There is nothing in Nigeria that government will not want to, you know, look into it. You understand? I, I belong to the Nigerian Olympic Committee. I'm a board member and I'm a 
Um, well, you can't, there's not how you want to separate the Nigerian Olympic Committee from the government because uh, at a point uh, you need a brick wall uh, and uh, it's not uh, it's not you want, wanting to you say you want to fight against anybody. Uh, what we're trying to do is, is to, to, to try as much as possible to build a brand because uh, if you look if you look at the at the federations at the look at the federations we have uh, it's only Nigeria Football Federation uh, that is trying you know to to you know have their autonomy. Uh, the others uh, they, they, they they don't have it yet. Uh, the, the the NOC you know. You know they, they have told all the all the, all the uh, federations over the time that uh, they should try as much as possible to have their constitution ready because uh, if you have your constitution you, you have you have uh, a workbook uh, that, that will guide you through but in a situation whereby the constitution are already, are already how do you how do you work so how many how many of the federations have you know have their you know uh, constitution ready you know to be able to work as, as a federation aside that uh why, why i mentioned minister is because uh, uh, the, the NOC president, uh, he, he oversee, he mediates between the I, between the International Federation and, and the Federations here in Nigeria. Uh, but as it is in Nigeria, sports is still is still is still is still, is still, is still recreation. Uh, until we see sports as big business, that is where you can say, okay, you want to you know to live life and have your autonomy. But we start without that, that, that there's little or nothing you can do. You understand? So, uh, going forward, uh, we, we have to come together to say, okay, what do we do? Let's look at our, our policy. Let's go to the National Assembly to make sport, to say, okay, sport wants sport to, 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 be on, to be on its own, to stand alone, and from there, you take it up. Because outside there, uh, sport is a very big thing. I know what, I know what it is. It's, it's not about all this lip service you want to pay because uh, hey, I don't belong to this, I don't know. It's, it's this one thing that, that, that unifies us as a nation. Because when any sport is being played anywhere, you see people coming from every different areas coming together as one and they talk about sports. So, until we believe in that, it, it will take a very long time before what, what, anything can be done in Nigeria. Mr. Adetula, which do you think should come first? Is it the belief in sports uh, and, uh, you know, Nigerians basically realizing the value in sports, or is it the funding, would the funding um, be able to, you know, promote sports better, promote these athletes better and, you know, give Nigerians more interest in these athletes? Or should Nigerians just, you know, these, you know, persons just suddenly, you know, believe more and that will then bring funding? Uh, you, have to leave, you have to leave a foundation uh, before you build a house. How do you build a house? You have to buy a land. You have to build the foundation. You have to build it before you roof and before you, you build it need. So we, you can't start from up. It has to start from the grassroots. You go back to the foundation. You look at how things have to be done. And if things are not, if the, if the foundation is not properly laid, there is nothing you can build upon. So it's very important for us to go back to the root and say, where are the problems? You understand. The moment we have it is a, a, a sports policy in Nigeria, then from there we begin to build up it step by step. So that, that is the thing. You can't do it from up, it's from down. Okay. Uh, I also want you to quickly speak on the um, uh, idea of the Ninja Olympic Committee. It was suggested by an NGO that athletes can, you know, pull out from, you know, any of these federations here in Nigeria and, you know, attend Olympics by themselves as a Ninja Olympic Committee, you know, and they use Russia as uh, an example, Russian athletes as, a, as an example. Um, how do you see that playing out and would you advise that also? Well, I belong to the Nigerian Olympic Committee and as far as I'm concerned uh, uh, today, the uh, Nigerian Olympic Committee is still the one in charge of, uh, you know, whatever things want to do as regards the Olympics. I don't know, maybe that one can be happening, well, maybe that can happen tomorrow, but as far as this is concerned, I've not heard about it quite all right. Um, but, <laughs> Anything can happen anytime, any day. You understand? So, but as it is today, I, I think uh, the proper things should be done and uh, let, let's do it very well and, and for your head. Okay, um, Mr. Shoyuta, um, let's talk about training and facilities. Um, we know that facilities is one of the things we lack here in Nigeria. Um, when we take a look at even our sports stadium and all of that, where athletes should train, it really doesn't seem like something to write home about. You have the jersey issue, the kit issue, logistics issue. Um, when we look ahead for the next Olympics, where, where do you think we can begin to fix these challenges? Well, uh, let me correct about facilities. Many stadia, training in Nigeria, 
but they don't really have a weight. So there are facets, no equipment. When you say they are in the stadium I am right now, no landing foam, no men to walk with and the track we have. When we talk about facilities are being equipped well. In terms of kids, when you are games, you should be well equipped. There should, there should be rain. The other wear that you wear, warm up, when you sweat, you change to a dry, your shoes. Those are the equipment we're talking. You are not well equipped, definitely. In some competition, you other teams are handing out dry jump. They are competing athletes. But her chooses the only thing the athlete is jump. There's nothing that athlete could do at the game. To fund the sport prop as equipment, despite the fact here yeah, in the country. So it having facilities, have the right. So to me, if we it will now, there is no in 2024. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sheriff. Story. Mr. Sheriff, okay. I want to quickly get your final words, Mr. Adetola. Um, the line was breaking on Mr. Sheraton's line. So regarding facilities, training, equipment, and all that, how can the Nigerian Olympic, Olympic Committee, the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, the Ministry of Sports, and all other sport bodies put hands together to make sure that it's better next time? Uh, well, uh, the, 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 issue, the issue of... Uh, the issue of uh, uh, infrastructure and what have you as it, as it is uh, it goes on government you know to put all this on this structure in place because uh, like you said there must be there must be a stadium and in that stadium there must be facility inside the stadium but where where are the stadium in nigeria that you can point to as our own stadium you understand so all these things we have to put in place it's not it's not the it's not the job of the NOC. NOC can only advise that okay this is what and what you they, they should do but well, government is the one to put all these things in place or private investors are the one to put in place you okay. understand yeah if you right. these things have been, have been put in place you understand it, it means you can do your spot pod very well you know at, the, at this at this uh, facilities okay all right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Femi Adetula, PRO Nigerian Olympic Committee. Thank you. And also Lekon Shueton, an athletics coach. Thank you so much for thank your time you. this morning and for speaking with us. Thank you so much. God bless Nigeria. Amazing. So it's been our, our Friday Olympic special here on Plus TV Africa's The Breakfast. We hope you've enjoyed every aspect of the conversation, especially getting that female voice in, talking about Olympics in Nigeria. And, you know, the future um, come 2024. Um, I guess, yeah, this is where we draw the curtains here on The Breakfast. Fantastic week so far. Um, I'm Aneta Felix, and I'm wishing you a beautiful weekend. And I am Osaogi Ogbawan.